What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another video, a grooming related video today. I know you guys see me doing a lot of other stuff. Your boy has been busy, but you know what? We're in quarantine right now. The time is now that you guys need me the most, right? All you guys that have been watching my videos for entertainment and never really actually practicing lining up your beard or shaving your head or doing anything, y'all probably looking tragic right now, man. Oh boy, it is trouble out here, man. I already know. So I'm not even looking too bad myself, but uh, I really don't really, you know, need to line it up. Not that I can really go uh, anywhere. Everybody's kind of on a low-key lockdown. I've been still going on a little bit, though. Don't tell nobody. But, uh... I'm trying to make another video and I got to look sharp for the video and do some other stuff. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is go ahead and shave my head and then I might even line the beard up as well. Uh, speaking of the quarantine and stuff like that for this, I uh, can't even say the word, don't want to get demonetized, but you guys know what's going on. Due to that, um, if you guys seen the CDC thing and stuff like that saying it's not looking too good for people with beards, to be able to fit the mask, they are suggesting that you cut your beard or have a, you know, a lower cut beard just in case you have any breathing issues and they need to put the respirator on you. Um, for that, I ain't really going to cut my beard for it though, but I did make a little mask if you guys don't even know where it's at, but I'll put a clip right here. And I also have been washing my beard just about every day, uh, like washing it and conditioning it. Um, so I think I'm straight. So. Let's go ahead and get to today's shave. So we got a uh, new razor alert. It actually ain't even new. I lied on that part. So I've actually had this razor for like two or three months now. This is one that I got from that app. So if you guys are interested, hit the link below. You guys can spend it on whatever you want. Again, I just went ahead and got a razor. So this right here is a razor that's been out for quite a while. I do think I remember a number of you actually asking me to uh, review this. And I told you guys, hey. If I get my hands on it, uh, I'll review it, but I'm not going to really go out and buy it. But you know what? I can use some credits and got this. So we're going to see what it's all about, man. The Gillette Skin Guard. This one is actually promoted to be, uh, you know, for, for people of my color. Um, that's what they promote it as. That's what's on the box. They're saying, you know, this is going to be the razor to prevent you from getting razor bumps. Um, honestly, I'm going to say right away, I ain't really going for it. I don't really think it's a... Uh, it's gonna stop somebody from getting razor bumps, but that's not to say that this still won't be a good razor. What I should have probably did was actually got some scissors as it's telling me to get. That's why I'm sitting here rambling because I couldn't actually open the box. So let me go get some scissors and I'll be right back. And with the power of editing, I'm back just that quick, guys. So check this out. Before I even take it out fully, we're going to go ahead and read the box right here. So as we're looking at this nice little box right here, it does say that it is a uh, precision trimmer, skin guard to reduce irritation, optimally space, Gillette blades, and reduce tug and pull. There it is. So there's for this uh, should not give you or allow any type of snag. So that means for the people that grow like longer hair, instead of buzzing your head down with the uh, trimmers first and then trying to shave it with something like this, apparently these are going to be the ones that allow you to uh, not get any pulls of your hair. Me, you see, there ain't too much uh, hair to be pulled to begin with. So we uh, shouldn't have no problem with that. Gillette Skin Guard. Let's see what it's all about. Really nice rubber grips. It's like flexible. Like this handle already. Okay, we starting off on the right track. It says fusion right there on the end of the handle. It's got some extra grips right here on the side. Chrome plated. What does that say in there? Fusion there as well. Gillette up at the top. Nice clear case on it. And it's got two blades. One, two, and then the optimal spacing that they're uh, promoting, as well as a skin guard on the top. Now, with the other razors and stuff that I was using, that skin guard at the top that applies a layer of like um, lubrication, that does actually come in handy. I haven't tested it on this razor, but I do think this is going to be a nice razor. So I am really liking the feel of this in my hands. Um, yeah, it feels premium for sure. Just testing it out, just kind of showing you guys how to change the blades when that time comes. Just press the button right there, press it in, pop it out. Now this one that I got, I do know they have a couple different sets of, of this model of razor. This one actually didn't come with any type of uh, replacements. As you guys can see right there, it says one blade and one handle. But when I actually use my little coupon, I got three things. So three handles with three blades just in separate packs. Um, I think there are some packs though that come with uh, extra um blades though this one does have some flex to it so it'll go with the motion as you're shaving and the, the curves and stuff like that so based off the just the unboxing of it i am kind of excited to use this now to go along with the gillette skin guard i do believe they actually had some type of shaving gel to go with it but i don't have that on hand that didn't come with the uh, coupon promotion that i had he's still using gillette though but this is the uh gillette 3x series or gillette series 3x i've actually had this can for about 30 years now 
not really just playing, but I had it, had it for a very long time because I don't really use uh, gels too much. Oh man, speaking of not using it, I don't even think it worked, dog. Just hearing how it shakes. Oh man, this this stuff sounds like it's done for. Let's try it. Matter of fact, it's working. It's coming out. It just ain't sounding too hot in this can. But whatever, I still got some out of it, so we're gonna go ahead and use that amount right there. Throw some water in, and let's get to shaving. Now I should have known better that wasn't gonna be enough when it comes to gel. So let's go ahead and add quite a bit. Changed my mind on that one, guys, so I had to actually add a lot. Now it's gonna be sudden up in this place, but hopefully I don't have to re-lather. We're gonna get nice and lubricated, y'all. Now, I ain't tried it yet, so I don't know, but what I'm thinking could be a side effect or a con of having a razor that is too spaced out like this is that means it's gonna take multiple strokes, multiple passes to get the hair knocked down. Now, again, you guys may not be able to see the hair, but let me tell you guys something. I was editing a video for something unrelated to this channel uh, yesterday. And I had a camera over my head and I was looking at the table below me as the camera was down, but the other camera was on top of my head. I looked, you could see every single pore like in my head, like in HD, like full on HD. I was like, whoa. I should never get that close to the camera ever again. That was crazy. Yeah, that just let me know that there's quite a few hairs still growing out of this uh, bald looking scalp there. Nice, I should go ahead and line that up, spray it black. Your boy will be looking sharp in his face. My hands have now been dried and let's go ahead and get to shaving guys. You know the routine, I like to start from the side. What I can say right now is the strokes are feeling the same. I have been using disposable razors uh, for quite a while now. You guys know that have been on my channel for a while. I do have a number of safety razors as well. Those are the non-disposable ones for those of you guys who may be on the, the rookie league there. I got some non-disposable ones with disposable blades, but the handle is permanent. And then this is one of the, uh, I guess, the medium range type of razors where you want to keep the handle for a while, but it's not really high quality. It's getting the shave in, but I'm not feeling too confident about this shave. That's what I can say so far. Just getting started, so I got to give it a chance, and maybe I'll change my mind on the second pass. But I'm used to having blades having like five razors, or razors having five blades on it, and I can actually feel the razor up against my scalp, and it just lets me know, like, oh yeah, I got it good that time. This one I can hear it cutting, but it's not giving me the same satisfaction. That's that's we just we still early though, we still early, so let's give it a chance. Do want to let you guys hear how it's cutting though. Looks like it's doing a good job. Just doesn't feel like it, but hey, maybe I'm used to having razors rub up against my skin and I just got used to it. Maybe it ain't what it's supposed to be. This does feel kind of smooth, but it kind of makes me feel like I'm not getting the job done. Um, but as I can see, I mean, it, it's kind of smooth. All right, now, let's see. Uh-oh, so we got our first problem right here. The way that I'm used to holding this handle, when I go from behind like that to shave the back of my head is I hold it from the top right here to get a good grip because like how am I gonna hold you know I don't go against the grain like that that would be the natural way to hold this I go with the grain in both directions so when I do it like this that is actually where this button is at to release it so I think this might be a problem for me just from the way of holding it there's I told you guys there's grips there's a grip on the top there's a grip on the bottom and then there's a little plastic grip on the side but it's not really grippy it's just semi rubber plastic like a little softer though it's more like plastic but it is a little bit on the softer side versus the grips that are on the side right here that's a hundred percent plastic and just chrome plated and it's it it's not really grippy as you guys can see I got some soap in my hand and I'm kind of squeezing it but it still, still slides, even though I'm trying to grip it. So that's not really a good grip right there. Don't think I'm gonna like that too much. Let's check this out too. First time using the razor, I'll show you guys everything. So the hairs are coming right out the back. So that's really good for avoiding this thing from getting clogged up, waiting to be rinsed out. So let's actually go ahead and do that. 
Oh yeah, that was very, very, very simple. To rinse that out, just put it under the water for two seconds there. As you guys can see, all the hair did clear out. Do have some soap still up under there, some gel. But all the hairs and the razor blade itself cleared out with ease. So that is a really, really, really big plus for that. And I guess that is the point of having um, the blade separated so it gives a lot more space for those grooves to go in there and be cut. Um, another thing I'm noticing too, I told you guys I haven't used this in quite a while. This stuff is uh, definitely making my head tingle and I like the feeling. This is really hard. It's like it's gonna slip out of my hands. And I'm just, this is comfortable for me to hold it like this cause you know, there's that flat grip. But I'm scared I'm just going to poke the thing out and drop the blade off. So let's do the best I can. How do you hold this? Oh, yeah, I can't do this, y'all. Look, yeah, I was trying not to, to review this razor against another one. But this one actually has a grip right here where I just said it's comfortable for me to hold. It has a grip right there. So when I'm holding it like this, y'all. It gives me a grip and I can actually put the pressure like that and hold it really, really firm as well as on this side. I can hold it really, really firm on this side to shave my head versus this one. It has a hole right through the middle. So there's nothing to hold and it's going to flew across the bathroom just like that. I don't know, man. This is supposed to be the one. This was announced and advertised for me, right? It ain't for me. That's what I can say already. I'm going to try my best though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try. This stuff done dried up. I can't do it, y'all. I'm just gonna have to hold it weird. And this is probably not the best idea to be shaving my head like this if it doesn't feel comfortable. Holding it at the, the tip of it, I'm holding it at the end because that's the only part that I can grip. So the razor was doing fine on the sides and the top and the front. The back, not liking it at all. Comfortability, zero for the back of my head. That's what I'm rating this Gillette razor. So anybody who suggested me to get this razor, you guys may or not have known because maybe you can't tell from the way that you just watch my videos on how I would actually hold it. But yes, the uh, placement and the finger handling of a razor definitely plays a big part. That's not even something I ever thought about before because honestly, I feel like this might be one of the first razors that just doesn't work for me. My hands are not super soaked up or nothing, and I just can't, I'm trying to hold it, and it just, it's just sliding all around. Let's try it again. I can't grip it, y'all. I'm gonna have to try to do it like I'm holding, like I'm holding some uh, chopsticks, eating some sushi. All right, this seems a little bit better but it doesn't feel comfortable. Probably got patches all in the back of my head and I just got some uh, soap in my eye, so. Oh man, that's not a good look at all, man. It's kind of starting to burn. I'm glad it wasn't peppermint. Might have lost the eye right on camera. I kind of found my placement on holding this. I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be held like this, again, because there's no grips right here, but I'm making do with what I can do. Very light rinse, so we'll hit these sides again. Y'all see this again on the sides? Very comfortable to hold. I can do it real swiftly. And just as I have my hand sliding across in the back too, I feel like patches still back there. Gillette, man, I know y'all be watching my videos even though y'all be ignoring the brother, man. Y'all gotta fix that, man, cause this, no, I don't like it. My suggestion is don't buy this razor. If you guys like my videos and you guys have tried stuff that I have recommended before and you say that it works and it helps you out and stuff like that, um, if you would like to stick on that same path, do not buy this razor. This is the Gillette Skin Guard Razor. I do not approve. I do not approve, but I'm going to use it for right now. What is this? About the fourth or fifth pass, it feels like. Just trying to get it even in the back. And you guys know I'm not BSing to it. Look, I'm going I'm to I'm let you guys hear. The hair is still cutting. I'm, I used to just go just whoop. It's done. Maybe do it twice. It's done. That part is clean. Move over. Whoop. Whoop. It's done. This one, I'm having to just scrape in the same spots because, again, I'm used to having 
either a razor that's a, a blade that's super sharp and you just get everything in the first pass or other razors that have multiple blades like you know five blades i'll say is pretty good um so you know each blade catches a little bit so you have to do less passes this one is really only two blades on here guys two blades two yeah two blades two gel pads and two like i guess guards on there to let the hair pass through you know what this seems like to me this seems more like a a beginner's razor i'll say that maybe that's why i guess basic razors are sold in stores and like the really expensive ones you have to get them online or you have to actually go to a specific uh like grooming store like a barber store where you get like straight razors and stuff like that and they don't have these type of razors in there this does seem semi user friendly because I don't feel like I'm going to cut myself. I feel like the only way I'll cut myself with this razor is if I put a lot of force kind of like I, what I really want to do. Um, and I don't think the average person is going to do that. So I think this is actually it is going to guard you from cutting yourself. I believe with the two gel pads and the two things and the only having two blades. I think this is pretty good for a beginner to use. Um, it's not going to get clogged up looks really nice looks like a quality razor but the handling of it i don't like it at all i don't like it i guess this is not for me y'all definitely feels lubricated though i done rubbed all the lubrication off on my head while i was actually trying to cut the hairs so my head is is pretty soft i can say that these gel pads work for sure something that's just kind of making me wonder a little bit too is that this is promoted as the gillette skin guard but nowhere actually on this razor does it say skin guard. Now it does match the picture, so I guess this is, really is the razor. The colors and everything match, but it says Fusion right here. It says Fusion right here. It says Gillette right here. And it says Gillette up here at the top. And the blade actually says Gillette right there on the white part of the blade as well. Nothing on it actually says skin guard. So, hmm, something is a little backwards. So if you look at them, at a glance, it looks like they are the same, but that part that's right there, that's not facing this way. That's actually on the other side. And I for sure didn't put the blade on wrong, so it doesn't match the picture 100%. But who knows, maybe I'm just being picky. I was going to actually line my beard up on this video, but you know what? I think this deserves a video on its own so you guys can just get straight facts in my opinion on this one specific thing and you guys could watch me line my beard up and stuff in the next video how's that sound any questions that you guys want to know feel free to ask regardless if it's about this razor a different razor another company um new trimmers anything just so i can get back in the gear with making these video videos for you guys as i told you guys i have been busy but hey i know the barbershops and stuff like that are closed right now so I gotta be here for my people, man. My little tips, tricks, and confidence, you feel me? What I can say though, again, my head is feeling mighty smooth and soft. A whole lot of passes, what I feel was uh, on the excessive side. But for some reason, I don't feel like this razor is going to give me bumps or, or skin irritation from going over the same spot because I feel like the blade wasn't even really touching my head like that. It did put a whole lot of lubrication as it was doing those passes. So I think I'm okay. My head is feeling good right now. Um, I don't know if that's a mixture of the lubrication that might be on the tip of this blade right there or just from the shaving gel that I was using. But either way, I like the feeling. Now this, I actually like this. Again, if you guys are interested in this or any products that I use and the stuff that I really recommend and use on a, a daily basis, hit up the website. It's linked below, neverdenyme.com slash grooming. You don't really need much of this. Nice clean smell to it. Really like that aftershave. In my opinion on this razor right here, this razor has been out for quite a while. Um, a lot of people have recommended it to me. I've seen it in the stores quite a few times. A lot of you guys have actually commented and I've always said the same thing. Hey. If somebody wants to send it to me, I'll test it out. Or if I just so happen to get my hands on it, I'll test it out. I actually got this again. It's one of the best things that I can get with the money that I got from that app. Again, the link for that app uh, is going to be below as well. You guys can get some free stuff. You don't got to get anything like this. You don't have to get any grooming related products. You're just going to get some money, spend it on the app. And when you actually spend money, that's the catch. Once you actually spend the free money that you have that I'm, I'm passing on to you, 
I actually get a kickback from that and get some money on that end. So that's how that works. I do feel like this would be a good razor for a beginner. And if you already don't have your handling and stuff like that right, or how to, uh, you know, what's comfortable for you and you're just trying to learn, this might be something good to start with. Um, but what I can say is it might make you have a, a strong hand in the end. Um, but I guess you'll get to that path when you cross it, right? So again, I think this is a really good razor as far as the way it looks. Um, the handle right there, I don't think it's going to give me any type of irritation. Um, yeah, everything except shaving the back of my head. It's just, it's pretty much the, the grip on it. The grip, the thing to take this off is right where it's comfortable for me to hold the razor. And it's just not a really good fit for me. So yeah, as much of a struggle as this was, I might give it a second chance um, in another video or maybe just off camera trying to learn how to handle this one but I just don't think I'm gonna do it. Cause now, something else that I'm noticing now too, now that my hands are completely dry, these grips that I told you guys, these are like the really soft ones. These are like grippier. It's grippier when it's dry, which I guess anything would be grippier when it's dry. And I feel like I could hold it like this, but if I got soap all over my hands, this thing is just sliding all over the place, look. So yeah, guys, I hope my experience on using this razor has uh, allowed you to uh, gain your own opinion and decide if you would want to stay away from this razor or actually test it out if you come across it. If you do want to actually test it out, the link for it will be in the description anyway, regardless of what I think about it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.